Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to do my manicure Monday and I'm going to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to actually do it on my nails, I'm going to do it on my left hand to show you. Now if it works I'll continue doing this, if it doesn't I'm going to go back to Colourpops because I've got a bit of a weird setup. First thing I want to say is if you can hear any strange noises in the background, my bird is going a bit crazy and I've got hot and bothered dogs sitting here. It's a very hot day in Australia and they're all a bit melty so if you hear any strange noises it's not me, it's the animals. But anyway, so what I'm going to do on my nails is what I've got on my right hand here. So it is Gel 2 in their new colour Bear Bear from the Carousel Collection and I've also got some stamping using the Nail Stamping Queen and I've got on my pointer finger and my ring finger, now I'll just zoom in so you can see, I've actually got a pigment eyeshadow rubbed in and I'll just show you what I'm going to use and we'll get started. Okay, so what I'm using for the tutorial is Gel 2 in Bear Bear, which is from their brand new collection, the Carousel Collection. I do have a review of the entire collection, I'll pop that below. I'm going to be using the Nail Stamping Queen Stamping Polish in number 17 and it is called Bronze Satin. I'm going to use a pigment eyeshadow, no apologies, but I just, I can't remember what this is and this is all I have left on. I've never really used it as an eyeshadow. It's always been a, um, a nail product. It's like a rose gold. I think it's MAC, but it could be NYX, so apologies, I can't remember. But there's alternatives. This is another one I've got. It's from the Cosmetic Kitchen. I will link this one below too. This is a pure eyeshadow pigment in boiled candy, but you may have glitters or pigments of your own you can use. I'm using the... Moyu London Pro Plate and it's an XL plate so it's XL10 and I'm using this heart image, it's sort of rosy hearts I guess you'd call it, in the corner there. I've got a dry brush to rub in my pigment and the new thing that I'm going to just quickly show you arrived on my doorstep oh, last week I think and I've been dying to try it out. Now it's the Liquid Palisade. Now I know that we have had discussions in my nail group about this. There is a cheaper version available. I'm going to do a sort of a smackdown whose is better when the other one arrives but at the moment I'm using this and I really I've tried this on my fingers once and I absolutely love it so I'm going to do a demo and show you how we go so let's get started I should just add guys I'm actually going to go ahead and paint two coats of my bare bear off camera and go to the second coat cure it and then I'm going to come back to save time because I don't want this to be a four hour video so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. My two colour coats cure and I'll come back. Okay, so before I start the next step, I just wanted to show you what this colour looks like on my hands against my skin tone. And I love this. I think this is a most, the most stunning nude I've ever come across. I really, really like this one. I'm tempted to just leave my nails plain, but I really have a difficult time having plain nails, no matter what I've got on. I really have to have some nail art. So anyway, so what I do at this stage is I get rid of the inhibition layer. So I'm going to get rid of the little finger, the middle finger and the thumb. So all I do is I'm just going to adjust my hands here sec, because I've got it sort of wrapped around the tripod. So off camera, I'm just getting a little swab here with isopropyl alcohol. And I am going to remove the inhibition layer of my little finger. Just lightly. My middle finger. Now I can stamp on the, the inhibition layer, but I'm choosing not to. And I'm also doing this so that the eyeshadow pigment doesn't end up laying on these nails. So that will disappear and it will evaporate. And you can see that's doing that now. So I'm going to go on now and add the pigment to my ring finger and my pinky. Not my pinky, my ring finger and my pointer. Sorry okay, guys. Okay, so as you can see, the... Alcohol has evaporated from my middle, my thumb and my pinky finger and my ring and my pointer are still shiny. So what I'm going to go now, ahead now and do is add the pigment eyeshadow to those two fingers. So all I've got is just a, just a brush that I keep for pigments. It's a bit mangled at the end. So I'm just going to pick a bit up. Now this could fly around because I have got um, the air conditioning on. So apologies if it looks like it's blowing everywhere. And apologies again that I don't know what this is, but it's just, it's been in my bathroom for ages. And <laughs> I figured, oh, this will be the perfect colour. So I do think it's MAC, but it, there is a chance it could be NYX. So I'm just popping it on my brush and I'm just going to press it into the tacky layer of my nail. So I'm just doing it like this. I hope you can see, guys, because I'm at a really weird angle with this uh, tripod. My arms are sort of through the tripod. 
because I've got a really big phone now that I'm filming on and a really small desk so it is quite a fine pigment so it's quite easy to place on so I am just pressing it into the tacky layer and then I'm just going to brush off the excess so I'm going to do that to the other finger and come okay, back. Okay so that's what we've got now. Now the next stage is I'm going to try this liquid palisade so I'm going to do it on a couple of fingers to show you and then I'm going to do the rest off camera and let it dry because I am conscious of the fact that I have got five fingers that I'm doing this on. Normally I only do it on one colour pop so I'm just giving it a good shake. It appears to have ball bearings in it so it's you can hear that and you can yeah it's a cool colour isn't it? <laughs> Okie doke. So it's like a I hope this doesn't dry with the air conditioning because I've got it blasting. We'll have a go and see what we come up with. Otherwise, I'm going to, if it if it does stuff up on this one, I'll do a complete review when it's not 30 something stupid degrees and I'll show you how to use it. So I'll start off on my thumb. So it's a long applicator. So all I'm going to do here is just paint around my thumb. Oops, and preferably not on my nail. Yeah, and it is drying fairly rapidly, so I'm going to, so this is all you need to do, and it's just to stop you getting polish all over your skin, so that will dry, so I'll just do one more, and I'm going to zoom in a bit to show you, so I might actually just keep it here so you can see a bit better, sorry this is such a crappy angle for you, I mean it's alright for you, it's just really difficult for me to move things around, so I am just painting it on. Ooh, this is weird to get used to doing it like this. So I'm going to let this dry. Now I know you can use PVA glue, the, the kids glue or the Elms glue I think it is called in America. But I have given that a go and it doesn't come off cleanly every time and it really annoys me because I can't get it off my skin. So I'm using this, I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to come back and do the stamping. Okay, so the liquid palisade has dried and it's sort of a purely pinky colour and it smells, the one thing I would say, it smells a little bit funny. Nothing that's unbearable, but it's just got a bit of an unusual smell, so bear that in mind. Um, now, I'm going to stamp my nails and I'm only going to show you a few. I'll probably do my little finger, my uh, one of the glitter fingers and maybe another finger. The air conditioning is really cold and the polish is going to set really quickly So and also to save time. So I'm getting my bronze satin here and I'm just giving it a good shake. So as I said, I'm going to use this flower sort of heart pattern and it's the Pro XL Plate 10 from Moyu. So I'm going to just use this and this is Nail Stamping Queen I did tell you that before but just in case so I'm just going to do this as quick as I can because yeah the air conditioning is making everything freezing so bear with me if there's hands and things in the way so scrape and then pop it on my stamper so that's not a perfect image but it's fine for my little finger now I will pop it there roll it on and I've got a really pretty image I'll show you when I finished anyway so I'm just going to clean the plate and I'll come back with okay, the next so I've one. just zoomed in a little bit more for you so just so that hopefully you can see a little bit better so I'm just going to go over oh god sorry guys the air oh my god the air conditioning is so strong that yeah I'm having a little bit of difficulty getting these where they're not actually setting on the stamp so that's fine for me it's a little bit blurry there isn't it sorry guys so that's a nice crisp image so I'm going to roll this onto my nail and again a really crisp image I will show you this when I finish now I'm just going to go ahead and do the others because I have shown you how to do it I'm going to do the others and I'm going to come back and show you the cleanup. Okay, so I'm just going to run through my cleanup. And as I said, this is the first time I have used this palisade properly. So we're going to see how I go. So what I firstly do is with an orange wood stick, actually the pointy end, I just run it around the sides of the nail and the cuticle area and break short, make sure all the stamping is broken away so that it's not attached as I do the cleanup. So there's a few loose bits here that I just want to get rid of. So you can just, anything that's on the nail, you can just press down. And anything that's around the, the sides, 
and the top of the nail with the cuticle area just break the seal so that should be okay now the theory behind this liquid palisade is it should just lift off really easily so we'll see so I'm just going to go in with a pair of tweezers oh wow look at that okay this is so so much better than the PVA glue I was using so it just pulls off that is flipping brilliant okie dokie I'm officially hooked I don't care how much this costs this is brilliant I will as I said investigate the other one but I will and I'll do it like a smackdown of which I think is better but this is really good I would be scraping and scraping with the PVA glue and making my skin sore whereas this is just coming straight off and I will have to do a little bit of a clean up because I've actually missed a little bit there although that could be that's a little bit of mist so I'll just show you that on one more nail so all I'm doing is just gently moving it until I get a little piece that will pull away grabbing it with my tweezers hopefully in the frame and just pulling it off and it comes off really cleanly and really painlessly so I'm going to just get the rest off and I'm just going to go around the edge with a little bit of acetone on a q-tip and clean up okay so this is the finished nails now it is a bit glary and I apologize so I will take some decent photos and add them at the end of the video so I have removed the inhibition layer here and I've used cuticle oil and it's really pretty you can just see the subtle sparkle and you can basically take or leave that if you haven't got something that will match up then it's it's not necessary but that's just I wanted to just do a couple of nails that are a little bit sparkly so I'll pop all the product information in the description bar below the video as I always do gel 2 is a professional product so if you are not a qualified nail technician unfortunately you can't use it but everything else you can any comments you've got for me, pop them in the comments bar. If you've got any questions, I'll get back to you. Now, next week, I'm hoping to have a whole load of new nail goodies. Next week or the week after, so there'll be plenty more videos coming up anyway. I'm going to get onto the Liquid Palisade for you because I thought that was amazing. So I'll do a bit more of an in-depth uh, review of that and all the information I will do in the description bar as well. And the other thing I wanted to show you is I'm going to be doing a review of my Creative Stamper. Now this has just arrived and I haven't had a chance to play with it, but that will be coming up very soon too. When it's not so warm and I can have quite an easy stamping session because today it was a little bit tricky and stamping was drying super quickly. So I want to give you the best review I can of this stamper. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so because I really do appreciate your support. So anyway, guys, have a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.